In this video, we will tackle the problem of why did the cow cross the road 3. In this problem, the cows can only cross a single gate where each cow is subject to intense questioning causing the cows to queue up in a long line. For each of the n cows visiting the farm, you are told the time that the cow arrives at the gate and the duration of time required for her to answer the entry questions. Only one cow can be undergoing questioning at the given time, so if many cows arrive near the same time, they will likely need to wait in line to be processed one by one. We are to determine the earliest possible time by which all cows are able to enter the farm. The input format of this program will be a file called cowq.in. In this file, the first line of input contains n, a positive integer at most 100. Each of next n lines describe one cow giving the time it arrives and the time it requires for questioning. Each of these numbers are positive integers at most 1 million. The output format will be a file called cowq.out. This file will contain a minimum possible time at which all the cows could have completed processing. In this problem, we are given a sample output like so. The first line will be an n, number of cows, so in this case it will be 3 for 3 cows. The next n lines will be each cow containing the time that they arrive, and the time that it requires for questioning. For this problem, we will draw a line to represent the passage of time. According to our sample input, we know that the first cow will, to arrive will be at time 2, and is quickly processed in one unit of time, so it will finish by time 3. This means that the next cow to arrive in the queue can be questioned as soon as time 3. Though for our current input, the next earliest cow to arrive is actually at time 5, so we'll keep going until time 5 and continue from there. Our input states that the cow needs 7 units of time to complete, which means that the time that they will finish will be at unit 12. The last cow in the queue arrived at unit 8 of time, but since the earliest available time for the next questioning is at unit 12, this cow is not able to be questioned till 12. Our input states that for this cow, this cow needs 3 units of time to be questioned, leaving it finished at time 15. Since there are no more cows to be processed, this should mean that the total time it takes to complete processing is 15, which matches our sample output. In this problem, we have several cows who are lining up to enter the farm. Each cow enters at the line at some time and requires some amount of questioning before being allowed to enter the farm. We want to know when every cow has entered the farm. We need to figure out the order in which the cows appear. For this, while we haven't yet process all the cows, we can find the cow that has arrived the earliest and process that cow next. We are going to make arrays to store information for when each cow arrived and how long each cow needs to be processed and one array to flag each cow if they have been processed yesterday or not.
We will need to loop over the cows to find out which is the earliest to arrive and find out if it's this next cow to enter. Once we find the next cow to enter, we will process that cow and find out if it can enter right away or at the next available time due to the last cow's time of questioning. Once we are done processing all the cows, we should end up with the total amount of time needed to process all of the cows. Try solving this coding problem and see if you can achieve the correct output with the sample input given. Time to code this problem. I will need a library fstream to, for file input and output. I am going to make three global arrays to help me with this problem. I will make an int array of size 100 called enter. This will keep track of all the entry times of every cow that is inputted. It is of size 100 since it can be no larger than 100 cows. I will make an int array called duration, which will store every cow's time needed to be processed. I will lastly make a boolean array called process to keep track of which cow has been processed yet or not. After opening files, I will read the first line of input n, the number of cows and then read the next n lines to obtain each cow's entry time and duration time needed for processing and store them into their proper arrays. I will make a variable called next available time of type int and set it to zero. This will keep track of when it is for the next available time for the next cow to be processed. Since a cow can arrive earlier, but maybe the previous cow used up a lot of the time to be processed. We will then loop over every single cow. Using a nested for loop, we will make a second loop loop over every cow again and find the earliest cow in our queue. If the cow has not yet been processed and has the earliest time of all the cows we've seen so far, it will be the next to enter. We will then process that cow. Mark that we have now processed it and then calculate the times. If the cow that is next to enter is later than the next available time, we can simply say that the next available time will be the when the cow arrived plus the time it took to be processed.
Otherwise, we will have to look at when the next available time is and add it the duration that it will take to it. After that, we can just print the last available time when all the cows have finished processing. And here to test my program, you can see that the program prints 15 into the output file, which matches our sample output. 